Hello everyone, Only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 4. This one's a little bit different than normal. It's more of a process assistance, uh, fixing what some people uh, would think would be a glitch, more than actually trying to build something. Um, in many situations, when people are playing the game, they have difficulty making or building the different components of the Deep Mob Learning mod that's included in this mod pack. Um, the recipe and such does not show up in the JEI. So I'm going to show you a way to fix this. Uh, this is something I just recently learned from a follower um, on the channel. Uh, thank you very much, ChrisCraft3, for uh, sharing this with us. A lot of people are going to find it helpful. Uh, if you find this video helpful and you like it, please be sure to click like. But most importantly, please remember to hit the subscribe button. That way you can see all my videos and tutorials as they come out. Okay, so I'm back in one of my original Sky Factory 4 worlds that I built a very long time ago, uh, because this issue is something that I had in this world. So if we open up our JEI, we'll see that I've done at deep to pull up everything from the deep mob learning. If you click on one of these, the recipe normally in the JEI, it would give you the recipe, much like it would for anything else. But here, I'm not sh it's not showing me any of the primary recipes. But if I was to say back out of this and just go to any other recipe, I'll just grab uh, something here. We click on this block, it shows me the recipe just fine. But when we're looking at the deep mob learning, it does not show you the recipes. And even if you know the recipes, it will not let you build the data models or the simulation chamber. It'll let you build Fabricator, but it won't let you make three quarters of the things you need to progress with this mod. Um, well, awesome news, there is a fix for this. Um, I'm not sure how the fi long the fix has existed, uh, but thankfully, uh, ChrisCraft3 shared this with us on uh, one of the descriptions of my previous tutorials. This is a very common question I get, so I really wanted to share this. So we're going to go ahead and fix my world right here so you can see how it works. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our function menu. So basically, you can just uh, hit the forward slash. We're going to type function space triumph. T-R-I-U-M-P-H colon non underscore pacifist P-A-C-I-F-I-S-T so once we put that in which is again function space triumph colon non underscore pacifist you hit enter tell me I do not have permission for this commands so if you don't have cheat codes it's not going to work so we're going to show you how to do that first if you don't have cheats enabled Go into your menu, hit escape, open to LAN, allow cheats on, start LAN world. This is going to let you be able to enable cheats. So if you've tried to do this and you couldn't in the past, that's a way around it. It only lets you do cheats for this game. If you log out and come back in, you'll have to do that again to enable cheats. So again, forward slash, function, space, triumph, colon, non underscore pacifist function space triumph colon non underscore pacifist you hit enter it'll say is executed one commands from function triumph non pacifist so now we're going to go into our jei and click on these recipes and now it is showing us the recipes we need to make the data models the simulation chamber and it will now allow us to build that now, what exactly puts it in a pacifist mold? I'm going to be honest, I'm not sure. It's happened to me a couple of times. Um, once on a server that we were sharing, and this one time in my original build itself, I was, you know, as you can see, I got very late game. I'd done pretty much every advancement possible. Um, but I couldn't do any of the deep mob learning stuff there at the end. So using this command will fix that issue so you can then access everything you need in the deep mob learning mod. All right. So again, thank you very much for the community for sharing this fix with us. Uh, I definitely appreciate that and try to pass it on to everyone I can. Um, now, if you have any questions or suggestions about this tutorial or other tutorials you'd like to see in Sky Factory 4, throw those down in the comments. This is a great example of where that uh, definitely has helped everybody. And I'll do my best to uh, respond as soon as I possibly can. And if you have a recommendation or suggestion for tutorials that you'd like to see in Sky Factory 4, throw those down there as well. I'm always looking for new ideas. You can also go to my website, onlydraven.com, and there you can find links to all of my videos and tutorials, my streaming schedule, links to my social media accounts, links to the podcast, um, as well as the ODG store, where you can get cool Only Draven gaming merchandise. 
Uh, so I definitely recommend checking out the website. A lot of cool resources for you there. But that is going to do us for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Thank you.